Hey everyone, so let's say you play Wordle and you are a little bit sick of just playing today's word, right? The beauty of this game is that it only allows you one word per day and you have to wait uh, 24 hours for the next word to come out as it tells you. So what if you were to play yesterday's or tomorrow's Wordle today? Well, luckily it's possible. I looked at how Wordle's uh, word to guess and it just is based off today's date. Okay, there is nothing to it. So if we can control over today's date before we visit the page, we are good to go. So why don't we use Cyclock, which allows you to set the current date on the page. So in this case, we'll say date, UTC, so it's unambiguous, today's uh, 22. And you have to be careful because the month starts with zero while the day starts with one. So January and let's say today's 19th. Okay, and let's see what happens. And here's what happens. The page uses JavaScript animations. So without the clocks, right, site clock actually freezes all the timers. Without that, the page is frozen. It kind of works, but not really, right? So we have to enable the clocks after we set the date. Well, there are a couple of ways to do that. The easiest one is to list explicitly all the timer functions we want to override. In this case, we are only interested in freezing the date and leaving all like set timeout, set interval as is. As you can see, now the page is working, right? And what is the word that it gives us? Proxy, which was yesterday's word, right? So let's see what the previous word was. Okay. Shire. Nice. What was the word before? We start with cider. Okay. Polar. Ooh, it's very close. Solar. Okay.